Hey guys, Dan here and welcome back to Minecraft where today I'm going to be showing you the ultimate way to transport all of your items at once. It's incredible and you do not want to miss it. Press start. Yeah guys, welcome back to the Minecraft lab where today we're going to be exploring another brand new feature of Minecraft 1.11 which allows you to transport so many items at once. It's something everyone that plays Minecraft really wanted to get and finally it is here and it is so, so cool. I promise you. So I'm um, Grim. Grim! Grim, where are you? You were supposed to be following me around today. Um, I have no idea where he is. Is he in here with Treoris? Let's have a look. <laughs> Grim? Grim, where are you? Oh. Oh, I've just realized there's a llama in here. So he, he's literally run away. Grim? Oh, no. He's not anywhere to be seen. I completely forgot. There he is. Look. <laughs> he's hiding from the llama. You know what? I did say earlier that you could come with me on today's adventure, but... Seeing as there is a new llama involved, which Grim hasn't properly met before, he's probably so scared he doesn't want to. So you know what? You just stay here, okay, buddy? Good. Oh, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> but do not fear, Dr. Treoris is here. How you doing, buddy? You doing good? Good. Okay, so everything's set up and ready to go today. You are the best, Treoris. You know what? I'm going to high-five your forehead. Bam! There we go. Because um, Treoris can't do normal high-fives. His hands are stuck together, so, um, has to be a slap to the forehead. <laughs> but anyway, back on topic, and today we have got the handy help of hipster Ronnie 2.0, the llama, everyone. Say hi to Ronnie. Now, we're not going to use him just yet. We lost his friend in a previous video, so Ronnie 2.0 is here with a grey carpet on him, I think. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, a grey carpet, and he looks amazing wearing these little hipster glasses. Looking awesome, buddy, but first, we need to go... To the end. Yes, we're going to the end today. And then all of this with this contraption and everything will make sense. Because what we need is a shulker. Because the transportation item we are going to be making today and using and showing off is called the shulker box. And I promise you it is phenomenal. So let's click this magic button and it should send us to a stronghold. Look at this with a complete end pull. Oh my goodness, who are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? It's not Halloween yet, buddy. It's October, but it's not Halloween yet. Can you just... um? I'm just gonna back away. You know what? I'm going to the end. See you later, buddy. <laughs> I don't want to be near that guy any longer. So, um, hello? Oh, check this out. Yes, we are on the worst platform ever. But, um, we're gonna leave the Ender Dragon alone today, and we're gonna go and find an end city. So, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I've, I've managed to find one. It's on the top right-hand side of the screen. There it is. Look at that. It looks so amazing. And I'm wearing this zombie head. I don't know if this is gonna work in terms of protecting me from all of these guys. But I'm getting stared down quite a bit. So, um, let's go inside this amazing end city tower because we- Oh my goodness, there they are. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, go away. Go away. There we go. We need to kill some of these shulkers because we need the drops from these guys. And of course, if you get hit by one of these- No! Did it hit me? Oh no, it hit me. Okay. Okay. It's funny. Yeah, that's real funny. Thank you. <laughs> oh no. Put me down. Put me down. There we go. Right, I need to eat some cookies and then get out of it and not get hit by these things. No, stop it. They're so hard to avoid. Don't hit me, please. We need to take down these shulkers as quickly as possible. There we go. There we go. No, no, it hit me again. Okay, I need to get under this lip and then it shouldn't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so difficult. Put me down. There we go. Okay, this is actually really, really difficult to run away from. And they do quite a bit of damage as well. I haven't actually fought a shulker in survival mode yet. But um, I need to kind of grab him. Grab him. Just hit him. Hit him. He's got so much health. Why have you got so much health? Oh, no. He's hit me again. He's hit me again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Why? Stop it. Go away. And you know what? I think this Enderman might be mad at me. But you know what? We're going to ignore him and use my bow instead. We should be able to do this. Don't attack me, please. I'm on very, 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 very important business. Okay, this works. This works. But I need him to open. Open sesame. We've got one part of what we need, and I'll show you what it is in a second when I'm safe from all of these levitation things. Get him! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Get away from me now. Get away from me. Stop it. Like, just, just, just bump into this end stuff. There we go. Much better. This one's gone above two blocks. Okay, I'm gonna run in quick and then run inside the end city. Is it following me? It's still following me! Go away! These guys are so annoying. Right, let's go in here and hopefully we are safe because we have what we came for. Did it just follow me around and blow up that? That was insane. We have what we came for, though. 
Shulker shells. Yes, you can now get shulker shells from shulkers when you kill them, which is perfectly awesome. Not only because it's a brand new drop, but it does an incredible thing and creates a brand new item. So, um, I kind of need to get out of here and I'm not sure how. <sighs> Are we back? We're back. Good. We're back. Treyarch, <laughs> that was pretty difficult. Ah. Yes, I did make it though. And Ronnie, oh, it's so good to see you again. Right, your lead has disappeared. What have you done? Did you chew through it again? Oh my goodness, Ronnie, you're such a pain in the butt. So, now we can craft ourselves the awesome shulker box. But first, we need ourselves a chest, which we've got right here. And we need two shulker shells. So you do need to kill two shulkers to be able to make one of these. But it is so, so worth it. So first off, you put the shulker shell on the top, shulker shell on the bottom, and then a chest in the middle. And you get this, a purple shulker box. And it looks like this. Look at that. So it kind of looks like a shulker, but when you open it, it has its very own inventory. And look how cool the animation is when it opens. It looks so, so nice. So this is pretty much a chest. So you must be thinking, why would I bother building one of these when I could just craft a chest, which is a much easier and more convenient way to store items? Well, this can be carried around with items inside. Yes, exactly like a backpack. So let me just shove in all of this random stuff here. So we've got cobwebs, diamond horse armor and stuff like that. Oh, I can take off my, my zombie head here. There we go. That's much better. And now I just need to break this and watch what happens. It breaks just like this and you can pick it up. But you may be thinking, where are all my items? Well, they're still inside the shulker box. Look, there's grass, it's golden carrot, dark oak saplings, diamond, diamond horse armor, and one more. So it gives you a little preview of what you've got inside, just as a reminder, I guess, if you've sorted all your shulker boxes out. And you can carry it around, so you pretty much have chests that you can carry around with you. So that is a lot of inventory spots, because each shulker box contains 27 inventory slots, which means you can put a stack of something in those 27 slots. So multiply that by the 27 you have in this inventory, and you've got a lot of items. A lot of items that you can carry around. But it gets even better. You can even die these boxes. So grab yourself a shulker box and then a die, and you'll be able to craft yourself a certain shulker box. You can use every single die on these. So for example, pink makes pink. We've also got a white one, which looks very cool indeed. I really like the black ones. These look really awesome. Look at this. So cool. And I am going to place it just up here for now, because I'm going to show you something else that it can do. So, not only can you make and break shulker boxes that contain different bits of inventory. So there you go. Look, it's transported all of our items. But you can also sort them using hoppers and chests, and you can break them with pistons. So watch this. I'm going to break it. There you go. It's disappeared and dropped into the hopper. So you must be thinking thinking, my items, where do they go? But it's transported all the way through these hoppers and into this chest. We've done it, guys. An efficient way to store and sort all of your items in one go. It is amazing. You can rename these things as well just to make sure that you've got them all sorted properly. And one more trick that I'm going to show you with Ronnie here is you will be able to put them inside your llama bags, your llama saddle bags. You can put them all in here. So, oh, geez, Ronnie, I didn't mean to ride you. I'm sorry. Sorry, stop looking at me. <laughs> so, yeah, check this out. So, Ronnie has six inventory slots, which is absolutely terrible. But if you combine that with shulker boxes, he actually has six times 27 slots, which is massive. And then you can start leading him around if his lead didn't disappear. I think he's still stuck to it, but his lead has just disappeared. It's very strange. You're a magician, Ronnie. You're a magician. So yeah, if I open this real quick, I've got a little preview of the amount of shulker boxes you can create. Look at all of these incredible colors. We've got um, gray, yellow, blue, magenta, orange, white. Look how cool these look. And the animation when they open is just phenomenal. The only thing you can't do is you can't put a shulker box inside a shulker box, I think. Yeah, look, I'm clicking. I'm clicking, but you can't put those inside because that would be just so overpowered. It is unreal, but you can still carry them around as many as you like in your inventory until you are full. So it makes the expeditions a lot easier in Minecraft because you don't have to drop items on the floor and get rid of stuff you would rather keep, which is really cool because you can just pop them in a shulker box, pop them back in your inventory or into your llama and take them away with you, which is absolutely amazing. Treyoris. Treyarch, I need your feedback right now. Yeah, come on here, buddy. Uh, what do you think of these shulker boxes, huh? Ah. 
They're pretty cool, right? I agree with you. And guys, I think that is pretty much all I can show you about the shulker boxes. I've showed you where to get them from. I've showed you how to craft them, how to make different colored ones, and how we can use them in a really cool hopper piston sorting scenario, which is amazing. And you can combine them with the newly popular Lavas. <laughs> Okay, Ronnie, pipe down. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please leave a big fat like on it. That would be greatly appreciated. And let me know, do you like the shulker boxes? Or do you have any other favorite features from 1.11? Let me know in the comment section down below. But apart from that, thank you guys again so much for watching. If this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDN today for daily gameplay videos. But apart from that, I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye! I watch this. I'm going to break it. There you go. It's disappeared and dropped into the hopper. So you must be thinking, my items, where do they go? But it's transported all the way through these hoppers and into this chest. We've done it, guys. An efficient way to store and sort all of your items in one go. It is amazing. You can rename these things as well just to make sure that you've got them all sorted properly. And one more trick that I'm going to show you with Ronnie here is you will be able to put them inside your llama bags, your llama saddle bags. You can put them all in here. So, oh, geez, Ronnie, I didn't mean to ride you. I'm sorry. Sorry, stop looking at me. <laughs> so, yeah, check this out. So, Ronnie has six inventory slots, which is absolutely terrible. But if you combine that with shulker boxes, he actually has six times 27 slots, which is massive. And then you can start leading him around if his lead didn't disappear. I think he's still stuck to it, but his lead has just disappeared. It's very strange. You're a magician, Ronnie. You're a magician. So yeah, if I open this real quick, I've got a little preview of the amount of shulker boxes you can create. Look at all of these incredible colors. We've got um, gray, yellow, blue, magenta, orange, white. Look how cool these look. And the animation when they open is just phenomenal. The only thing you can't do is you can't put a shulker box inside a shulker box, I think. Yeah, look, I'm clicking. I'm clicking, but you can't put those inside because that would be just so overpowered. It is unreal, but you can still carry them around as many as you like in your inventory until you are full. So it makes the expeditions a lot easier in Minecraft because you don't have to drop items on the floor and get rid of stuff you'd rather keep, which is really cool because you can just pop them in a shulker box, pop them back in your inventory or into your llama and take them away with you, which is absolutely amazing. Treoris. Treyos, I need your feedback right now. Yeah, come on here, buddy. Uh, what do you think of these shulker boxes, huh? Ha. Huh.